YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Coming to you live and direct from Boonville, Missouri. We just got a shower. Oh, man, a shower. After a long summer day, I don't know what's better. You know? Uh, we won't, we'll, we're going to keep it G-rated in case there's children in. But anyway, uh, video you're about to watch uh, titled How to Shift an 18-Speed. Uh, I know we've all seen like the cool videos with the big sticks and uh, this is not one of those videos more uh, informative of you know how to do it you know how you they come up with the 18 gears uh, on the stick and you know this transmission and, and that good jazz so uh, hopefully uh, it helps somebody uh, so enjoy the video thanks again for watching guys YouTube what's happening uh, the little bro is gonna shoot this video for me uh, so I'm gonna talk loud and hope to God that you guys can hear me so we're gonna do today how to shift an 18 speed um, most transmissions out there or that I know of that I've driven 10 speed 13 and 18 uh, an 18 speed the only difference between an 18 speed and a 13 speed is an 18 speed you can split all the gears on the low side and the high side on a 13 speed you can only split the gears on the high side uh, easy way to tell is uh, can you see this gray splitter yep uh, on an 18 speed the splitter on the side that splits the actual gear will be gray and the splitter on a 13 speed will be red uh, of course we all have our high low splitters in the front high range low range so we're good and heavy so we'll go ahead and show y'all all, all the gears uh, if you're wondering how do you get 18 gears out of this go ahead and zoom in on this Nick okay. uh, you can see where it says high low reverse low high uh, one five six two seven three and eight four uh, 18 speed basically your low range which is one and then you can split it and so on and so forth so we have uh, one two uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you come up and over. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, uh, and uh, so that's that. So let's go ahead and get out of here, and we'll, we'll show y'all how to shift this thing. I'm gonna go through all the gears for you. Alright, you can go ahead and zoom out next so you can get a whole view of it. Yep. So right now we're in low, low. Uh, really, unless you're really, really heavy and you're pulling oversize or you're over 80,000, uh, I don't really see the need to split the low range, but for video purposes, we're going to do it. So you take off, and the way that you split the gear, i got to get around this bend here. that you split this gear oh no hit that dumpster you split it up to the high side you let off the gas you get right back in it you let off it'll shift you get back in it and you're in the high side now we'll shift up so we bring the splitter back down we go up and there's third split it up on the high side and there's fourth and we'll come back down fifth. All right. We'll try to roll through this uh, intersection here. There's no stop sign. Basically, we're in the we're in fifth gear right here. So fifth. Split it up. There's six. Come back down. Go up to the far right. There's seven. Split it up. There's eight. Bring it back down, let off the gas. There's ninth. We got a stop, we got a red light here. And then you split that up, and of course that's in tenth. Okay? So now you guys have all seen the low range. This is what I do. Even when I'm heavy, I'm 76,000, and we just take off on the low side. And then I just stay on the low side. No need to split these lower gears. Uh, like I said, I'm 78,000. 
turn her off here. Unless you're well over 80,000, because it's just a, it's real, real low. Some would say it's overkill for a dry van. There's no such thing. I don't think I can find the gear. This, this four wheeler would move, but he ain't gonna, so we have to stop. These things, these 18 speeds and these peeds, man, they just shift like butter. You know? Now we're on the high side with our splitter back. There's 10th gear. And so on and so forth. So I got it split up. I let off the throttle. It shifts. I get right back in it. Now I'm going to go from 11 to 12. I'm going to bring the splitter down. I'm in the throttle. Let off. Shift down. Back in the throttle. Go back up on the high side. Off the throttle. It shifts. Back in the throttle. Now say you wanted to downshift. Let me get up here. There's two ways to downshift an 18 speed, and I'll, I'll show you here in the big hole. This is how great this thing pulls. 80,000 pounds, and, and we're already up. Going to uh, 55, heading to 60 miles an hour. You just can't ask for much better than that. All right, so here we are. We're in the big hole on the low side. So obviously we, we click it up, and we can split to the high side. Now, if you need to split back down, there's two ways to do it. You can pull this splitter down, let off the throttle, let it come out of gear, and then give it gas. Now, if y'all heard that that kind of that, that grinding noise, that's that gear in there. There is a way to do it without doing that. You shift it up, now you're on the high side, the big hole, and you want to downshift. Okay, come out of the gear, split it back down, get back into the gas ways to do it. Some guys are going to say the other way, you're just tearing up your transmission. Uh, some guys will tell you that's the way they do it. Uh, either way, you can split it, get out, get back in it. It's quicker to do it that way, I think, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. That's all I got for you guys. I hope that the video uh, might help somebody. Uh, you can never have too much gear. I love this 18 speed. I wouldn't have anything else helps you in any kind of condition you're in you can be in, in the gear you need to be in so thanks for watching youtube you guys stay safe